thanks for joining us. Steve Erickson is off today. A change in city ordinance could have beer drinkers flocking to Anoka. The city now allows tap rooms downtown, and at least one is already moving in this summer. CTN's Joan Elson found out how a Coon Rapids family helped Anoka change the law, and he gives us a taste of what to expect this summer. Start with a recipe and a book and brew your first batch. At age 21, when some are trying their first beer, Coon Rapids native Jesse Hoff decided to make his own. The first batch just turned out phenomenal and I was just instantly into brewing at that point. He then wanted to give others a taste. And all of his friends and our family just absolutely love it. And so when he came to me and we decided that we were going to go into business together, I said, hold up, I need to try your beer. So he brought some over and it was awesome. Jesse, along with his sister Ashley Hoff as sales and marketing director, came up with a business plan. Each week that you come in, you'll be able to see a new beer on the tap. Our thing is 10K Brewing, nice beer, nice people, because we are really based off of our Minnesota values of the Minnesota nice. They hope to open up shop in downtown Anoka, but a ban on breweries kept taps dry. Microbreweries and tap rooms weren't allowed in downtown. The Hoffs, along with city planner Crystal Palman presented an amendment to the city ordinance allowing breweries downtown but required a tap room to keep up a social atmosphere and limits on how much beer can be made to keep truck traffic down. The city council saw the benefits and approved the changes. We were so relieved that we got that approval. This whole area will be um, a 30 foot long bar. It's part of a tourism attraction and bringing folks that uh, don't live in Anoka as well as folks who live in Anoka to, to the downtown to the, support the local economy. Now remodeling their 130-year-old space on 2nd Avenue, 10K Brewing hopes to fit into its historic neighborhood while making history of its own as the first brewery downtown. I just want people to know that if you're not a huge beer connoisseur, if you're maybe afraid to try something, just come in because we're going to have something for everybody. 10K Brewing plans to feature live entertainment and hopes to open its doors in July. It's offering beer and merchandise to those who contribute to its Kickstarter campaign. For more information, go to our website at ctnstudios.com. Stephen Karen? What a great investment they're making yeah, for that. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. That's fun. Thank Thanks. you so much.